Whether it's a shawarma or a donor, marinated Middle Eastern meats wrapped in flatbread is awesome. But I wouldn't say they're healthy. Need evidence? Need more evidence? So we're going to make a healthy version of it by wrapping it in lettuce. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need about a pound or two of chicken breasts. Of course, some people prefer chicken thigh, but I got a whole bunch of chicken breasts I need to use up. I'm not made of money, but I can be. Support me on Patreon, link it in the description. And also, despite what me and the rest of my male audience thinks, big, thick breasts aren't always great. So what we're going to do is fillet them. Take the, take the chicken breast, smooth side up. And using a sharp knife, cut the thickness in half. And uh, let's do it with this one. Now this breast still is too thick, I'm gonna fillet it a third time. Now let's lay these out because we're gonna season these. All right, now let's make the spice mix. The good folks at Seatel proudly presents CRJ Shawarma Spices, a collection of some of the greatest Middle Eastern spices, such as two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon and a half of onion powder, a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon curry powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. To order this amazing spice set, have your credit card ready and dial the number on the screen. Please note, spices are not allowed to be used during the holy month of Ramadan or on any pork or non halal box. Your day, taste some chicken, see tell, YouTube, Google, and affiliates are not responsible for any top of hands that might occur. And let's season our chicken on both sides. <laughs> you might sneeze, uh, please don't do it in the direction of the food. Okay, let's set these aside. And we can begin work on our sauces, like hummus. I already made two hummus videos. Uh, here's the faster one. Anyway, with the hummus already made, let's head to our second sauce. A Turkish yogurt-based garlic sauce, whose name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce because YouTube thinks I'm saying a sexually charged no-no word and I need the money for VidCon Baltimore next month. Anyway, to this bowl, let's add one cup of plain yogurt, half a teaspoon of salt, three cloves of garlic, minced or smashed, the juice of half a lemon, and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Let's mix all, all right, let's mix all this together. All right, now we can begin cooking. I have here on the stove a really, really large frying pan. I'm gonna set that over medium high heat. As it heats up, let's toss in some oil. On to use a bit more than you think you need. Okay, and once it heats up, let's add in our chicken. Now cooking times vary depending on thickness, but um, but I sliced these pretty thin, so five to seven minutes aside. Okay, once it begins to turn white around the edges, let's flip. Let that go for another five minutes. Ah, gee, got a piece of oil stuff splatted onto my eyelid. Okay, and about after five or so minutes, let's transfer them onto a wooden cutting board I have off camera. And let me do, and I'll do the remaining batch. Okay, after we let the chicken cool for a bit, and yeah, as you can tell, I already cut into this one. While I was testing this recipe out, I ended up with undercooked chicken. And hey, I'm pretty sure salmonella is not halal. Anyway, let's take our chicken breast and cut it widthwise. All right, now let's take care of the lettuce wrap. Some prefer romaine, 
some don't. Now obviously using one leaf isn't gonna cut it. So you will have to double up on your leaves like so and try to, and uh, make sure there are no potential holes. All right, now we can construct our wrap. Layer on some hummus. Our chicken. Some julienne cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, and finally our garlic sauce. All right, let's wrap, next let's wrap it up. Okay, after some awkward off-camera fixing, our lettuce donor is ready to dig in. In fact, I'm gonna end it here right now before this thing falls apart. This has been Chase Pet in the Kitchen. I'm, screw it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh wait, Twitter's now called X. Really, F is the more accurate letter you need.